Die alte Palacio. Bio Sweet Princess Silke. I am your sweet princess, okay, intelligent I am, having plenty of considerations and I have a very, very vast amount of life experiences as you just saw in my previous videos about money, conversions, real estate and so on. I have so many experiences to have all these considerations. Here I am sharing myself generously with you. So where to live? This goes all hand in hand, authenticity, frequency, vibration, because I am very closely and intimately linked to nature. I also was striving for getting security. As I moved to San Francisco, it felt secure. There is a house which is owned. But it was overwhelming for saying the least. The vast amount of streets and cars and little garden. So as you move to the nature, I felt relieved. My quality of life from my inner perspective just got a high raise. And that means my frequency vibration was easier to maintain than to constantly fight against, I don't know, pollution, noise, traffic, or just asphalt. Those are the aspects I care for in life. I always prefer to live in smaller cities, if in a city at all. Having a garden and in that particular case, also have the bay, the water, and it allowed when the full moon arose. Those aspects are not little to me. Oh, I had so many more items there that I could develop my garden the way I wanted to. And even though I do not have to have all this, but that particularly place offered a little hillside or mountain in a park, so to speak, where I could go hike and have looks over the bay at certain places, be in nature, surrounded by nature. Issue is, for example, why do people want to live like in a city? Because they were born in the city? Or because someone else lives in the city who they know or are maybe related to? Or because people think there's where I get. What do you want to do? Do you want to do cleaning? Would you like to do cleaning? Do you have to live in San Francisco to do cleaning? Or can you live in another place? Or anything you want to do? And those are the aspects people usually did not never ask themselves. It's like the opposite. They thought they had to be in certain places and then they had to make ends meet. How am I going to make a living right now? Instead of thinking, I like to do this and where can I do this best? The economy we left had very many places to be criticized. 
But one of the largest criticism I have is this. Yeah, and that is, of course, Karl Marx inspired. Out of experience, not of all of the books. I wrote the book. The criticism is that the phrase time is money, does it say something to you? Time is money. Hurry, hurry. Be efficient. Don't waste your time. In other words, it was installed, installed, put into place for people never to have time to think. If you're always racing, you don't think. And when you don't think, you cannot criticize the very system in which you are racing in, the rat race. Because the minute you notice, you're already busy doing something else. And if you're not busy, then that's not the economy a little bit down. So now you're afraid that you're going to lose your house, can't pay your mortgage. Then you are busy. Sleepless nights, man. And not in Seattle. And that's exactly what Karl Marx said. The economy must be distributed equally. And that what some very few, very few, the less than the minor percentage of the population makes profit from, should be eliminated. So the people don't have to work so many hours a day to make other people rich. To make that economy flow, he said, yeah, in great mathematical equations if you want or not. To make that economy flow, you only need to work so many hours and it works. So the other hours you should have time to be leisure, to develop your personality. I don't know what to do. Arts and crafts, for example, don't know, whatever. To look into who you are. It could also be as simple as having hikes in nature. Yeah, do you think a city boy has time to hike in nature? A city boy has to work. Monday through Friday, and on Saturday make the, do the groceries and the cleaning of the house. And on Sundays, I don't know, exhausted? Yeah, maybe, maybe a field trip. And that's that. Not much time. And the only thing we just watched upon is, oh, here's a field trip. Finally, let's see where we go next time. Meaning, having a little note on my agenda, and so many, many appointments on my agenda, And the field trip is just one more appointment in my very, very busy, oh yes, so busy, agenda. So I got yikey out of that. As he moved to Marin County. He started to ride his bicycle in the mountain. Helped by mine to promote mountain bike riding as that's a cool thing to do. Because Yaiki, in terms of physical things, he certain kind of he had kind of balls. Yes, he did. Because he would take actually his bike once. He would put as we did the picnic in the in the in the China camp in the mountain right behind the house. But it's a very large mountain. Well, it's a it's a large mountain, the very largest on the other side, 15 minutes drive down. So another option. But anyhow, as we did one of those picnics. Uh, I enhance those things. Let's 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 spend. Let's go on a, on on a walk when there were children involved. Keep it simple. And then again, not again. Make a hike. And let's bring food and let's hang out there. So in one of those picnic places, he would put all the benches together, the tables actually in a long row. He would put the tables together and maybe a bench in the beginning. And then he would get on his bike and he would ride up the bench over the tables and then would jump down. Crazy shit. Because he saw all those videos were real. But people do these amazing acrobatics with mountain bikes. Yaki was a person who needed something to look up to. Something else. And those were people he looked up to. In other words, now he started to enjoy. And despite his body getting fat and the belly and low and the muscles and his arms, yeah, he lost all the beautiful muscles he had at once. Despite that, he did talk bike rides now. Not tell them, but yes. 
he would go up and down, meaning he got a little bit of condition. Yeah, I did too with him, but it's different. I do like mountain bike, but I'm not like into these high challenges. I don't like very steep because I don't have condition. And if I had, I don't really know if I do like. If the kids are involved, then flat rides. And if we, I was alone with him, then we had like a little bit of a medium ride. Although I have to correct, there was large rides and they were very difficult. Okay. But I have seen videos which are higher and those don't exist. Okay, I have done very difficult rides with him. But he would actually want him to do these things. Okay, <laughs> weird. He was very much admiring me. It's kind of interesting, right? Now I was always walking in front of him or would riding in front of him. And he would admire me amazingly. I have no clue why. Because I was so strenuously doing it. I was so greatly pushing forward. I was so wonderfully riding my bike in absolute perfect balance. <laughs> see, I don't see it in myself, but whatever. And when we play tennis, he had all the years of experience in practicing how to throw a ball against the wall. He taught me he would do that. And now I start tennis. And luckily he knew a little bit. As he could pass on the ball so I would actually reach it. Because in the beginning, you don't know where to throw it, man. And then he admired me tremendously because he said that my ball would have the spin which make it really fast. And what did I do? I did not watch videos or read instructions. I just kind of encommended myself to God. Literally, I thought like, I want to play real great tennis. I want to become a real great tennis player. Because I like playing tennis, that's why. Not to compete. Ugh. It's not, no, just that. So some of my body reacted to my wish. And I did amazingly professional moves. But as I said, I changed the hurry perspective in which now there was the mountain accessible and he could come back from home. I'm sorry, he could back from he could come home from work, back from work, if he would come at a good time, and he could go have a ride after work. It didn't need to be a field trip once a month or every year. It was accessible in theory every day for him. Yeah, although he could have done it in the very early morning, for example. It's accessible. So your mindset changes. Get it? Now he's closer to nature. And he loved it. He told me he doesn't like nature when I met him. Who doesn't like nature? But now he loved it because, well, he combined it with having a challenge, right? Whatever that is, he liked that little challenge. So he could refocus his head. Where would you like to live and what would you like to experience? A lot of questions. <laughs>